Welcome to the APA Guidelines Explained, a series of instructional videos on referencing according to the APA citation style. In this video, we'll look at the reference management tools. These tools are useful to organize and format references so that you can easily incorporate them in your report. Each reference management tool supports multiple citing styles, including APA 7. Common use tools are RefWorks, EndNote, Sotero and Mendeley. RefWorks and EndNote are not for free. Ask your university library if one of these tools is available. Sotero and Mendeley are both free. The APA generator by Scribber is also a handy tool to create in-text citation and references in APA 7 style. This web-based application is free. Most databases have the option to export a list of results. These results are imported in the reference manager and your reference list is almost ready. Although useful, the references may have errors. If you are using a reference management tool, always verify the references as they may have been imported incorrectly. Common errors and omissions are, when referring to a book chapter, the names of the editors are missing. When listing the title of a book or journal article, all nouns start with a capital instead of a lowercase. The full date of a web page is missing, or the name of the author or organization is not imported correctly. You should always verify the imported references and correct them manually if necessary. Although corrections may be needed, a referencing tool can be helpful and save time, so it's definitely worth a try. Now let's take a look at some examples. The first one is RefWorks. This is an example of a list of imported references. I can switch from normal view to citation view and APA style. I'm now able to see which data is missing. Let's take a quick look at the publication of Thurn and Others, a chapter from a book. Both the editors and the title of the book are missing. As I click on the title, the record appears. After this, I click the pencil icon at the top right. Here I will enter the editors and title. I will now add the names of the editors, starting with the surname, comma, initial. More names can be added by choosing Enter. Now I give the title and end with Save. This way I filled in the missing data manually. Now an example in Sotero. This is a reference of a web page. The name of the author is missing and all nouns are listed with a capital. I click on the title to remove the capitals. Note that the first word of the title and the subtitle have a capital. All other words are lowercase. I will now add the name of the author by clicking the author field and start again with the surname. The adjustments will be saved automatically. If you use RefWorks, adjusting the capitals of nouns can be done more easily. I go to Create Bibliography and then I choose the Citation Style Editor. I type APA 7 and I click on sentence casing, doi.org. Now I save this option. I will now go to the RefWorx Citation Manager in Word and here I click on the dashes, followed by citation style mine. Next I will choose the correct APA version with sentence casing and end by clicking update. You will see that only the first word of the title and of the subtitle are capitalized in the reference list. Even with the adjustments I just described, you will not always have flawless references. For instance, in RefWorks, the URL of the DOI in the reference list is only partially clickable. References of web pages often lack the complete date, including day and month, and the retrieval date. These final adjustments can be made when you are about to finalize your report. Below this video on the YouTube channel, you will find additional URLs with information on how to create and adjust references manually. Good luck!